Hey Magic Me on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos pre-recorded, usually when I play Magic Arena, nowadays I stream. Uh, but it says that the event ends in 2 hours and 16 minutes, which means it's pretty late here, which means it's not streaming hours. I actually almost missed the event. I ended up making a ton of, of decks for this. this. So this is historic all access. It means historic, but you get an unlimited card pool. Instead of being tied to your wild cards, you can just build whatever the heck you'd like. Which means we end up being silly. You could just make a bunch of competitive decks, and there's some of that here, but for the most part I'm just being silly. <laughs> so everything from Demir Control over to Emergent Rights. Uh, Demir Control, uh, I guess that would be counter target brainstorm dot deck. Uh, <laughs> but then, uh, yeah, so I guess we'll start off with this. We'll work our way from the back. I'll just play one game each so that we have enough time. Uh, unless the opponent auto concedes or something like that. You know, you know how it goes. So that we'll make a quick little deck tech for each. This deck is a combo deck. Uh, so you have your tools like Brainstorm, Faithless Looting, Thrilling Discovery to try to find your make sure you hit your lands and make sure that you get combo pieces put into the graveyard. So you have, uh, for combo pieces, you uh, actually this one you want in your hand. You want Mizzix Mastery in your hand or Unburial Rites in the graveyard. Unburial Rites will bring back Scholar of the Lost Trove. Uh, Mizzix Mastery will bring back Emergent Ultimatum. And, uh, yeah, from there, you have a couple different routes. So, Ultimatum, you go and get Scholar, Omniscience, um, um, Final Parting, they're not on Burial Rites, <laughs> Final Parting, um, and then you may give your opponent basically no way to get out of that. And no matter which they pick, you can keep comboing off. It gets a little tricky when you're missing a piece, uh, but if you're missing a piece, usually you can just replace it with one of the extra Time Walk spells. Uh, which reminds me, I, I actually probably should switch Allrin's Epiphany for- What are you doing, little bug? Get off of me. There we go. I was wondering what that feeling was. Uh, it used to be one Allrin's Epiphany and two Time Warp, but then Time Warp got banned. So, actually I need to switch this out so that I can make a pile that includes more than one, right? Probably? Probably! How about just type in extra turn and see what else comes up. No, no, I wish. No, no. Okay, never mind, that's it. That's it. Uh, not not Karn's Temporal Sundering. Probably. Sadly, uh, you are not legendary, so we can't make that work for you. Uh, but otherwise, you can get Glass Pool Mimic, is an additional Scholar of the Lost Trove. Uh, take an extra turn. Copy, you can take an extra turn. Uh, Omniscience to let you cast everything for free. And, yeah, basically, the idea is that you want to go Scholar, 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 take an extra turn, attack for 20. Yay! You'll hopefully get to see me do that. Uh, Prismari Command is another way. It's removal, it's faithless looting, uh, it's ramp. Woo! Yep. So, uh, we'll, we'll give this one a go first. I hope uh, that was not a fantastic way of describing the deck, but uh, hopefully you'll see it in action. Yeah, so Mizzix Mastery onto Emergent Ultimatum, or Unburial Rites on Scholar. And then we get to go. I can already tell we're going to run out of coffee in this video, and it won't even take that long. I can already tell. Uh, 946. There we go. Cool. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a keep. That's a keep for sure. Sadly, we don't get the thrilling discovery on turn two unless something happens. But I think it's better than going to six. Hey, there we go. Woo! Brainstorm, Faithless... Ah, oh, hi, Robber. Well, hmm. At least we can kill it before too long. Oh, boy. Oops. Well, never mind. It looks like we missed. It looks like we missed. Well, um, we can still hit a land drop here and be on curve. And if it comes in untapped, Prismari Command will help slow stem the bleeding just a little bit. What is this? Thrilling Discovery. Oh, great. 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 Do it. No, Pyrolane. Uh-oh. 
We're going to be too slow. Yeah. Well, we hit our land at least. But, uh, yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, Barney Rubble. Ideally, we'd be playing Prismari Command, two to the robber, make a treasure token. But, uh... Or, not, maybe not treasure token, maybe, you know, Faithless Looting, not treasure. It also doesn't help that Omniscience and Final Parting and Sublime Epiphany are all in my hand. That's kind of unfortunate how that worked out. Ooh. That means that we can't go get them with uh, Emergence Holy Moon. Final Parting and Omniscience are both 1-ups in the deck, as is Sublime Epiphany. So this is fantastic. Oh boy. Uh, also, there are no Wraths in this deck. Yeah, uh, I think that we lose. You're a Archer Rogue. Okay, so no other Knights right now. Uh, boy. So in that case, we I guess we have to go uh, 2 damage, Faithless Looting. Alright, kill you, so they can't get the cards. And then, what is it? Draw 2 cards, discard 2 cards. There we go. It's not impossible. We could make it out. Okay. Okay. Um. Scholar. We're not going to actually get to the point where we can cast that. Uh. Final parting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Um. Alternatively, I could have gone for Thrilling Discovery because it gains two life. We'll do that next turn. Mizzix's Mastery has to be an instant or sorcery from my graveyard. Uh, so actually that could have been uh, Epiphany instead. Uh, these have first strike, so the one ones would not actually be able to do Oh, great. And then you showed up. You had to show up. Of course you did. Okay, then. Uh, fine. Fun. Fun. Yeah, about that. Um, how about we go... Thrilling Discovery first. Alright. Discard two cards. Yes, please. Uh, it doesn't really matter, unfortunately. We're not getting to the point where we'll be able to realistically cast anything. Uh, I guess you two? Alright. Alright. There's Umbrial Rights. And then we gain two life for what little difference that makes, I guess. Uh, now we have to discard Umbrial Rights and Epiphany? Alright. And then... Ogren Triome, tapped, and there we go. Oops, hello? Okay, I hit enter and it didn't do much. Alright, so we're dead here. Like, they only have three cards, but there's no way they don't have something. Any non-combat damage will be four, eight, and they get double strike. So any non- if they have a shock, I'm dead. Shock, lightning strike, anything. And I'm dead. Do you have it? Forbidden Friendship? Okay. I hate to say it, but we might actually try to pull the brain... Yeah, we're going to do a brainstorm at end of turn. You never want to see it, but you, we do what we have to do. Alright, they don't have haste, so we can still get out of this. Unlikely though it may be. And the reason we do a brainstorm here while we can't fetch is because we want to use our mana efficiently. Okay, here goes. Somehow we made it out of that. Uh, not for long, though. Alright, two cards go back. Glasspool Mimic. Okay, um, Emergent Ultimatum can get Glasspool Mimic, so we want that back in. Ordering's done next. Well, I th why, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, and then you, I guess? Sure. Why not? Bottom, perfect, perfect. That's what I want to see, because we want glass pool mimic in the in the library for this. But yeah, it didn't really matter what we put there. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, I guess we'll go. 
doesn't matter if we do mastery or not. We'll go unburial rights. Hello? Pick up. Thank you. Thank you. Scholar. Alright. Uh. Aldrin's Epiphany. Oh, crap. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so now what? I actually don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. Could have done a Faithless Looting. Alright, so draw the glass pool, and then there's another Mastery. Huh, funny how that works. I don't think we need yet another one, though. Uh, although if we kept a land, the next turn we could go Mimic and Mastery. But what do we have in the graveyard? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, boy. Yeah, you don't matter much. And... Crap. I've, that feels kind of bad, to be honest. I don't know that that's right. Alright, here goes. And we found a land anyway. So it didn't end up mattering. So, what's in the yard again? So this is this is literally my first time playing this deck. So, forgive me. I'm I am uh, bad. Technically speaking, I am bad. Uh, the modes on Sublime Epiphany include card draw. But first, I think we're supposed to go Mizzix Mastery. Can we? We can't overload yet, can we? Oh, we're so close though. We're so close. We are so close. We actually would like to get Final Parting. Oh boy. Two cards. Final Parting. Hurry. Hurry, Jay. We only have one built up because I've been kind of slow at it. Alright. So we would like for... I guess... Uh-oh. Um... Crap, I wish I knew better. Let's do here. If I had been through this loop before, we'd be okay. Uh, it's Unburial Rites in the Yard. Right? And then... No, no, no. Emergent Ultimatum in the Yard. Uh, crap. Crap. Let me just go. I, I, that's probably not right. Choose one to go in your hand. Crap. Alright, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We get two shots with it. Doesn't matter. I, I messed up. Go! Jeez, it's gonna cut me. Alright. <sighs> yeah, that, that's not ideal. That was definitely not ideal. Okay, well, we don't have an extra turn because I didn't do that properly. I should have put an epiphany in the yard. It's fine, though. Alright. Yeah, again, we only have one, two, Three. Alright. There we go. This could have gone so much better. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. There is definitely a wrong answer. Don't don't let me cast the epiphany. I, I messed myself up, so if they play this correctly, then I, I should just lose, I think. I can't get the Omniscience anymore. I can't cast it. It's in the yard. Alright, what you gonna give me? And here, let me think while I'm doing this. While I'm waiting. Oh, okay, good. Alright, and then the other got shuffled back in, right? Crap. Okay. Uh, select card to cast. Scholar. And then Mizzix Mastery. Okay. So Mizzix Mastery cast Sublime Epiphany, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. Modes. Crap. Alright. We'll draw a card. Turn target non land to its owner's hand. Create a token that's a copy of a card that you control. Okay. So target and what's this first one? 
Which mode is return? Return to hand. Uh, sh oh boy, just just go, just do something. I don't care, just do something. Creature you control. Yes, that one. And then I will draw a card. Come on, come on, come on. Do stuff, do stuff. I can't even take an action and it's ticking down on me. Alright, I lose. Uh, you. Thrilling discovery, go. It's extra life, I don't care. You and, uh, you. Sure. Why not? Draw three. Now that I can do- Oh, there, there you are, of course, now. Alright, uh... Crap. Uh... Prismari Command. Two damage to any target. Two damage. Can I? I cannot close this out. Uh, great. Uh, two damage to. Uh, it doesn't matter. I guess you. Sure. And then I will draw two discard two. Come on, come on, hurry, 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 hurry. On burial rights. Uh, sacred foundry. Uh, it should have been emerging ultimate. Uh, and then we pass and hope to God we don't die here. <sighs> Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have six blockers. Forge double. Okay. Yeah, oh boy. Oh boy. Extra card in hand. Fervent champion. Okay, well, it's a good thing I got rid of the other one, I guess. Well, that could have gone a lot better, but if we can live to next turn, we have an epiphany in hand, so we just win. Despite my misplay. So, oh, we, we got there, okay. So, the final parting was done incorrectly. I needed to put an Alrin's epiphany in my graveyard, uh, so that I could get it back with Scholar. Because I had a glass pool mimic, uh, I, I, final parting, epiphany in the yard, glass pool mimic, Aldrin's epiphany, and then we would have been okay. So that's just lack of experience with the deck. You you'd uh, you'd do better if you <laughs> if you knew what you were doing beforehand. So uh, yeah, there's a, a lot of potential for this sort of thing. I, I strongly strongly suspect. Uh, that said, I didn't have a whole lot of interaction. Basically, I just had thrilling discovery to gain two life, and that's about it. I didn't even have uh, counter spells or discard to force the uh, unburial rites or the Mizzix mastery to go through. Uh, but I think what you're supposed to do around that is just keep doing it turn after turn after turn and just hope that eventually it works. So this time we'll try out land destruction because of course I have land destruction here. Of course I do. Uh, we did get stone rain after all. So uh, step one, gilded goose. Now I don't mind playing one drops because stone rain is three. So fair enough. Uh, explore and Growth Spiral still, so they can draw cards and get extra lands. Flame Sweep, because all of our creatures fly, so it doesn't even eat our own Gilded Goose. God Eternal Kefnet, because <laughs> lol extra Stone Rain, and Demolish, and Rubble Reading. Sphinx of Foresight, because we get to scry if it's in the opener, and otherwise it's just a 4-4, so it's a nice little extra beater for us. Chandra, because she helps to find more and deal damage through her plus, and gain mana, so that we can we have six mana, add two, and then blow up a land. Or five mana, add two, and use stone, right? Woo! Uh, also, she has a uh, flame slash built into her. And she wins the game. Honestly, I maybe should even have more than one, but I'm trying her out as a one of. Uh, Demolish and Rubble Reading are the next best land destruction spells we have. Artifact or land, land scry two. Hydroid Crisis. Uh, there are other win cons you could do here instead. Honestly, maybe this should be another Chandra, and we'll probably make that change right about now. Uh, but it gives me something flexible that I can use. Uh, you know, it it uh, has variable power based on how much I need. Draws me cards, gains me life. It's okay. I mean, we'll, it's not a ramp deck, but we can get pretty high with it. Now that said, yeah, we'll do we'll do that. That's fine. And then, how many lands is it total? Yep, 24. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, the four basics that we can get with Fable Passage, four Ketria, and then four of each Shock Land, as appropriate. And uh, that's what we have going on. We'll, we'll see if we can maybe make this way. Hello. There we go. Made, made that. There we are. Oh yeah, I made a change. Cool. Woo! Alright. 
Thankfully, this deck is significantly easier to pilot. Also, I think that my computer's lagging. Not, not, maybe it's not online, maybe it's just my computer, but it seemed like it was ticking down even when I, there wasn't anything that I could do. This is a slowish hand, but we'll make it work. Start off with the uh, fetch. Oh, no brainstorm, by the way, uh, which is probably wrong. I should probably take out explore, maybe, I guess, and put in a... Uh, should have put in brainstorm, perhaps. Probably. Alright, island, because Kefnet's double blue. Let's see. At this point, I'm actually going to fire off the explore instead of the growth spiral, instead of holding that up. Uh, now we can't cast you though. Sorry Goose. Sorry Goose. If Okay, maybe it's Elves, in which case Flame Slash is glorious. Aye, it looks like it is. Please pl play something else. Hey, Dwine Ends Elite. Flame Slash. Uh, three for one. Dwine Ends Elite counts as one. Alright, well, hmm. I, I would like to not wait any longer, just in case they have a board. I should have though, because no, it's fine. I should have waited. The Lord would die, and then its buff would be gone. Yeah, I messed up. Yeah, oops, oops. Whale, it happens. And they didn't have enough mana for well, clan caller. They could have had two clan callers, I guess. We'll get the extra green. Alright, let's get started. Hopefully. Oh boy. Kill her quickly. Decline. That's not ideal. Alright, let's just crack it now get ourselves another island. This deck is so hungry for it. Hmm. So there's a couple things we could do. We could go for Growth Spiral to get an extra uh, draw, but I think it's probably better to use the Rubble Reading to set up the top of the deck. Oh, hi. Now, that said, they're about to go a little wild here. This gives us six mana so we can blow up two lands, but the Marwin is going to mess us up. Oh, wait a minute, is this Enter the Battle? It is Enter the Battlefield, right? Yep. Okay. Two. Yeah. And it's a Dwine Insulate, so there's another instance. Uh oh. There's Clan Caller. Alright, well, unfortunately, I know that the top of the deck is not Flame Slash. So, uh, this isn't going to work. I should have waited. It is what it is, though. It's fine. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. I think that my quest today is to attack with 45 creatures, so I'll attack with both of them just for the lols. Uh, but yeah, we and they're out of cards in hand, so there's absolutely no good that that would do. So all I can do at this point is, uh, let's see, all right, pass. Oh crap! I'm on the wrong one. Oops! I put it on mine instead of theirs. Well, it might work out. I need this top card to be Flame Slash. Specifically Flame Slash or Bust. I should have done it earlier though. That wasn't intentional. No, it's fine, it's fine. Wait, wait, wait. Crap. Uh Okay. Do it. Do your thing. And now there's three Flame Slash or it's Flame Sweep. I keep saying Flame Slash. Flame Sweep in the deck. Sweep the legs. Alright, now we'll try for it. Come on, come on. Lip. All right. Um, 
I was playing too uh, cautiously with that first one, that first flame sweep. So if I waited another turn, I would have been able to eat more of their board. I think. Right? Marwin wouldn't have been an issue. Uh, well, but as it turned out, I messed up. Oops. Now, is it Phoenix time? And yes, the answer is yes, it is Phoenix. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have a deck tech to do. Okay. So, here we are. This one's pretty simple and <laughs> straightforward and all that jazz. Uh, brainstorm, opt, and faithless looting, shock, strategic planning, young pyromancer, expressive iterations, bright dragon, prismari command, arc like phoenix, bunch of lands, there we go. <laughs> okay, so, the idea is, it's pretty simple. You use cards like faithless looting and strategic planning to get art like phoenix and prismari command to get art like phoenix in the graveyard. Uh, otherwise, young pyromancer makes tokens, sprite dragon goes big, and you just hit him really, really hard. And that's it. Should be 20 lands. Yep, 20 lands. Uh, woo! Yay! And then, of course, 4 Brainstorm, 4 Opt, 4 Faithless Looting. I think we're good on card draw, shock for damage, and an extra spell for Arclight. Well, for all of them. Uh, Expressive Iteration is silly good. I mean, it's a sorcery, but other than that, it's silly good. So, uh, yeah, let's try it. Woo! Sequencing is a big deal in this deck, but otherwise, it's not too, too terribly hard. We're not playing... Uh, super... <laughs> we're not playing... Oh, I can't think of his name. C control group. We're not playing heavy control. Ah! Oh, yeah, I, I see two faithless lootings. I like this. Let's go. I Inqua. Well, th this is uh, not, a, not a good deck for Inquisition of Kozilek to hit. Oh, boy. I do not envy them in this position. Fire away. Woo! Oh, more. Always more. Okay, uh, huh. Well, I hate to give up a Brainstorm. Let's take you two. Brainstorm, Steam Vents. It leaves me one, and I don't have... I can use Brainstorm even if I don't have a fetch land. Uh, brainstorm followed by Faithless Looting and discard the two bad cards. Uh, if I need to. But I don't have a way to fetch, so getting rid of a brainstorm there, it just feels bad. But I don't want to get rid of another land. Not yet. Alright, so Faithless Suiting again. Let's see what we have. Ooh, hi, Sprite Dragon. That's good. I'll actually drop Iteration Shock. It's fewer cards that they know about. Then, can I... please? Please? There's a phoenix. One... Uh... Two... I'm gonna try to get a counter on the Sprite Dragon before Heartless Act can do its thing. There you are. Okay, this is not a Heartless Act deck. No, it is not. Oh boy. Uh, the only creature right now is close for, so we'll so well. Wow. Don't lag on me, none of that. Phyrexian Tower. Okay. Uh props, I guess. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool. Alright, so we'll get an island. As you do. Oh crap. I have a brainstorm and I just fetched. What Okay. Well, that was that was really smart, Jay. I couldn't have used it anyway, so I don't know why. I'd... <gasps> Jay, you genius! Whale, whale. In that case, ah, uh, okay. I was about to say we could use brainstorm first and then opt scry away a bad card draw into the second one. It's definitely not ideal, but it's doable. Okay, okay, we have something. Uh, Prismari Command, Faithless Looting, uh, two damage to the opponent. Oh, boy. Uh, or, you know what? No, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. I, I could have 
<sighs> I maybe should have gone up first so I could try to hit a land. We can still we can still take it back. This is technically more mana efficient anyway. Please hit a land. That's not a land. Is it worth it though? No, not against the Stitcher supplier deck. I think I might have good Oh nope, we got there. We got lucky. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh two damage. There we go. So target you and target you. And please don't take super long game. Sadly, that's only two, so Phoenix doesn't come back yet. And it won't for some time. hi ya. Now that we're hellbent. The extra faithful sittings are nice, but now that we're hellbent, we, we're in a bit of trouble. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I see that. I see that now. Rise of the da Dark Realms. Jeez. And Elish Norn and Shield. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, strategic planning. We could get lucky. We're not, but we could get lucky. We are very much not lucky, though. You know me, folks. Uh, okay, okay. So, steam vents. And... Play it. Into Faithful Saluting. Should have done Iteration. We are, we are misplaying all over the place. I'm, I'm just looking for lethal this turn. This coming turn. We're, yep, yeah, okay, we got there. Oh, Jay, oh, Jay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, if I had taken the iteration, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter, but oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, Reckless Crew. That's basically a summary of that. See? The deck is the deck is good no matter how bad of a player you are sometimes <sighs> okay let now a deck that's I guess a little bit more my style is it Drake's 2.0 all right similar except instead of trying to just puke out a bunch of spells so that we can get Phoenixes back and flood the board with tokens and a giant sprite dragon well we're doing that anyway uh, instead we have bigger creatures Enigma Drake and crackling Drake and God Eternal Kefnet, so 13 creatures instead of 12. Uh, Brainstorm Opt, maximize velocity for the Drakes because they can get big enough to one or two shot the opponent. Uh, shock, because removal. Memory Lapse, because this card is busted. Uh, yeah, Expressive Iteration again. Electrolyze as a two of, because I love playing this thing in Modern. I actually hated playing against it for the longest time, and then I finally played it, and yeah, it, it, it's, it's good, it's addictive. Prismari Command, because this thing is dumb as well. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. Should be 20, still 20 lands. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what I was thinking there. There's a Crackling Drake in this deck, but we'll make it work. Uh, no, we don't have Faithless Looting. Ooh. We'll make it work. Somehow. Some way, somehow. We'll get there. Alright, please switch over for me. Por favor. Gracias. Alright. <laughs> Focus, Jay, focus. You know what? Nothing a good swig of coffee can't help, right? It's decaf, so this won't help at all. Hi! Okay. I mean, since we're a control deck, going on the draw isn't the worst thing in the world. We'll keep. We have everything we need, not everything we want, but geez, that's a lot of drinks. Oh. oh, my goodness. All right, I was going to play the Fable Passage first, but no, no. We have a Brainstorm and a Fetch Land. We have to. Plus, we have a bunch of junk we can get rid of, which is to say, extra drinks. All right, uh, we could use a Shock really quickly now, uh, which is to say we're not going to find it. Even if it is the top card, we don't have the land for it. So in that case, maybe I could have used a Brainstorm. Alright. Brainstorm first. Ah, oh, no shock. Wow. Okay. Uh, huh. Yep. 
Totally matters, folks. Totally matters. I don't know why I'm doing this now. It's not optimal. I'm just... I don't want to forget about it, I guess. It's definitely not optimal, though. To show my opponent, hey, look, I'm on two colors. There it is. Okay, so we might have a turn to get out of this. If we find shock. Literally just shock, though. Well, shock command, but we don't have the mana for that. And there's no Brazen Borrower in this deck. Oh, okay, so they have a land. Do they have another spell? Okay, not yet, at least they don't. They'll still get the counter. Oh, boy. Alright, we're doing it now. Mm. Either way, I see three cards. Alright, we're doing, we're doing it now. Instead of playing the Drake, we've got to, we have to find that shock. And there's a Mystical Dispute. Okay, well then. Well then. That's what I get for not playing the other land first. Great. Alright. Just hold up a memory lapse. Try to stem the bleeding a little bit. Uh, no you don't. No you don't. And they don't get a counter. Yay! It wasn't an instant resource. It wasn't a non-creature. Ow. Okay, well, we have our own. It would be a 3-4. If we were. Uh... Let's hold off on that for just a second. Just a second. Um... We'll say... Blue. Alright. Crackling Drake first. Shoutouts to Drake. Uh oh, that's okay. We have so many lands, this iteration will hopefully hit. Alright, it gets over us. That's a bummer. With that many cards, though, they were bound to have it. But it means they didn't go for the Phoenix again. Oh, and they're not getting the Phoenix this turn. What's in the yard? They don't have one yet. Alright, so that's two and no Phoenix in the yard yet. Please don't find Faithless Looting. Or land Prismari command. I guess that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Two damage to me, Faithless Looting, or Treasure Faithless Looting. <laughs> Every time I've, I've cast or thought about air, it is, of course. Wait, did they put... No, okay, it doesn't matter. They put it on top and then they're dropping it with... Jeez, there it is. There it is. Okay, uh, yeah, two phoenixes coming back. Yeah, about that. Whale? Well, Alright, so I did consider put, putting raking claws into the deck, but even if I had, I still would- Oh, do you have a shock? I still wouldn't have had enough damage here. About the only thing I can think of doing is we could go land Sprite Dragon Enigma Drake and kill the. Uh, of course they do. Alright. Well, we can still go Sprite Dragon Enigma Drake. And there it is. Alright. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. You. You. And the chump blocker. Please don't have another shock. For the 45th time. Right? Right? Uh, Alright, that's step one. Oh, it's the flashback one, though. Okay. I mean, they'll have two more one drops. They just pitch two, or drop two lands. Alright. Maybe I lied. That's two. It's not looking good, folks. Phoenix versus Drakes. That actually sounds like a like a basketball match. Phoenixes versus Drakes. <laughs> Shoutouts to Drake. 
and they have an opt. So land, opt, and then they get it back. Yay. We have another Phoenix. Do they have, yep, they have just the one. Okay. So we go to one here. You and you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, let's get it started. Top three cards. Well, right on time. Uh, one goes in my hand, other gets exiled, right? I guess it doesn't matter too much. Oh crap, I put it I did in the wrong order. It's hand, live bottom, exile, not hand, exile, bottom. Well, fun. I can use that to kill one of the phoenixes, but I, I don't have a blocker. Let's drop it. Shock. All right. You know what? We're dead anyway. Let's just let's just go. Let's just skeet out. Whee! All right, eight. <laughs> Yeet. Give him a good game, and then pass it. If I had jump started the maximized velocity, it would have been the same power anyway. Because it would have gained plus one plus one, and then it would have been exiled. So plus one plus one, and then minus one. Well, it would have been a different toughness, but no one cares. All right, so that happened. That was terrible. Speaking of terrible, this is a silly, silly deck. Collected Conjuring the deck. The only win cons are God Eternal Kefnet and Invade the City. So copy. Instance and sorcery, or instant sorcery, but in this deck it's all sorceries. And Invade the City makes a giant creature that doesn't have any evasion or any protection or anything like that. This deck is bad. But I get to run Collected Conjuring. It's, it's Collected Company for sorceries. So CMC 3 or less, but only sorceries. Eh, what could possibly go wrong? 22 lands. It's these lands. Yay. Uh, Stone Rain, blow up land, seize the spoils. If you get it off of uh, Kefnet or Collected Conjuring, then you get to dodge the discarded card, so it's just draw two cards and create a treasure token. Yay. Anger for destruct for killing stuff. Uh, <laughs> exiling stuff. Cathartic Reunion, same with seize the spoils, otherwise it's just, it lets you dig pretty deeply through the deck. See the truth, if you hit it with, uh... Well, if you hit it with Conjuring, then you get all three cards. It's just draw three. With Kefnet, it's weird. Uh, because when you reveal it, copy that card, you may cast the copy. It still counts as... Yeah. It still counts as being from your hand, though. So, oops. But still, it's something, I guess. And then Silent Departure and Sleep of the Dead, because I need something for early game interaction. Pillar of Flame for the same. And, yeah. that That's basically it. This deck is dumb. Don't actually play it. Please, do yourself a favor. This deck is terrible. Well, we're almost there. We have a few more to go through. Through which to go. Woo! All right. Mm-hmm. They go first. We could use the uh, extra land. Well, we have double see the truth. That's fine. Hopefully they play a Boyd deck. I can flame the Boyd. Keep it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hi. No, it's not a Boyd deck. It's so weird seeing Faithful Suiting as a rare. Uh, also, that art is... <laughs> unique. Okay, Anger. Cool. Or, uh, they had Spultering Sons. We have Anger. We have Anger issues, I guess. Uh, we leave. We're playing at sorcery speed anyway, so uh, we're going to respond. Hold X at sorcery speed. Yay. Woo! Well, if they're playing phoenixes, we can exile them. You get one shot with your phoenixes, I guess. Uh, sure. 
Sure. Let's see. Pun intended. Let's see. Pun very intended. Uh, we'll take invade the city. Alright. We'll get to the point where it actually does something, maybe. Oh, boy. Also, Snake Creek. Oh, it's Blade Wind. Oh, it's the Reanimator deck. Okay, cool. Yay. Yay. Uh huh. Yeah, C first. Stone Rain might be interesting. Although, we're probably supposed to take the steam vents here, aren't we? Guarantee that extra land. Stone Rain would be cool, but... Better two in the hand, right? Well, if it's not Phoenix's, a whole lot of good that'll do. Still, we've only seen red, so... Come on, what you got? Okay, there we go. There we go. Woo! Two treasure tokens. I can get behind that. Alright. Which one, which one? Let's start with Kefnat. That's a clock. Instead of conjuring, that's a clock. And we have a pretty decent shot at actually hitting something in the deck. 22 lands, 4 God Eternal Kefnat. Everything else gets hit. Everything else. Including Invade, so our other creature. Though we've already seen two. The way that it's worded is the rest go on the bottom. Okay. And we haven't shuffled, so woo! Yay! They have a ton of mana. What could go wrong? Yes. Yes could go wrong. You're still digging? Jeez. Okay. Uh, oh wait, the way. Indomitable creativity and transmogrify, right? Is that what's going on here? Uh, I haven't seen any token generators, and they are running Sweltering Suns, so... Uh, indomitable creativity on the artifacts, the, the treasure tokens, right? I think that that's how this is supposed to work. I think. Maybe. Love oil. Rope. Bombs. Alright. First things first. Uh, sure. Reveal it. Hi. Two extra damage. Yay. Hit their face. Blip. Alright. Let's try this. Conjuring. I saw a stone rain. Where'd the others go? Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Target a land. You. And invade the city. Uh, oops. Other way around. It's supposed to be resolved the other way around. Well, gee, gee, jeez. That means it actually dies to sweltering suns. That's a pain. Good grief. Good grief. Yada yada do they. And they still might have enough, right? Totally. Totally. supposed to go. The good news is it doesn't actually change the clock. It's seven damage over the course of two turns. There we go. All right. All right. Draw two, two more treasures. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the stone rain did not do much. Actually, it might make a difference because invade the city is going to make this even bigger and it puts it on the same creature, effectively. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that might have actually cost us. We'll see. All right, so invade the city. If I play the pillar first, well, we'll, we'll see what I get here. But yeah, it, it would be four, play the pillar. Oh, there's Dragonstorm. Okay, nah, that's game. That's game. So, Terror and Blade Wing. If you haven't seen how this works before, uh, Blade Wing gets back Terror, and then Terror get, and it also gets uh, Blade Wing again. They get, nope, they get another, because there's another in the deck. That's right. 
right, five at me. Do you have more? And you do. And then there's number four over here in the graveyard. Ow. Ow. Yep, there it is. Give him the good game. Uh, yeah. It didn't make a difference then. Woo! I remember playing against a similar deck way back in Legacy. This was obviously before Terror of the Peaks was around. Uh, but it used Hellkite, Bogarden Hellkite, the nine mana uh, dragon that when it enters the battlefield does five damage divided as you choose. Uh, just like the old, it's, was it standard deck back in the day? Standard and or extended. Uh, Dragonstorm, hit four Bogarden Hellkites, and then whatever you don't have, you can make up with other dragons. And the one I remember playing against had Bladewing as uh, at least one of, so that it can get back any Hellkites that happen to be discarded or whatnot. Okay, so that's a thing. Let's not do that and say we didn't. Uh, still playing Brainstorm decks. This is uh, Grixis Control, because, of course, I, of course Control, right? I can't not play Brainstorm and Memory Lapse if I can. Uh, Blood Chief's Thirst for removal, it's sorcery speed, and it hits small stuff, uh, faith, but unlike Fatal Push, it can hit Planeswalkers, and it hits over CMC4. In case that matters, maybe. Yep, Memory Lapse speaks for itself, Expressive Iteration again, because Card Advantage, Narset because Screw Brainstorm, Anger of the Gods because Aggro, Electrolyze because Aggro and Elves, Prismari Command, Coligon's Kolig Command, um, yeah, make them discard. I don't have a lot of creatures, which is to say I have no creatures, so I can't make use of the first one. Well, I mean, I have one creature. Two Chandra Torch, one Nico Bolas the Ravager, and then one Professor Onyx. It's silly. What is this? 24? 23 lands. But we have Brainstorm and Memory Lapse and Express Federation. So hopefully we can get... and, and Electrolyze. And Prismari Command. So hopefully we can get there. Woo! I can tell I'm getting tired. I can feel it happening. Three more decks after this one. And then we'll be good. Three more brews. Yeah, I, again though, I knew we'd be out soon. Should have gotten caffeine, but then we'd have a crash. We'd have a crash with the control deck being the last one. The other control deck. Hi, Lux Moon. Ooh, okay. Yes. Yes, let's. Memory Lapse would be better on the play. Anger's. I'll, I'll take it on the draw. Alright, we'll keep. We sure will. Alright, and plop. There we go. Maybe it should have been Steam Vents first. Oh boy, Anger is going to have a ball. Have a party. Okay, then, uh, well, I really don't want to hurt myself here. That sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, it should have been Steam Vents first, as it turns out. It doesn't end up mattering. I'm not going to hold it up here. Just let them play out for their turn, and then we'll just wipe it away with anger. It doesn't matter. All's even as far as I'm concerned. Alright, what do they have next? Stomp? Pyromancer again. Okay. Just gotta brush the beard. It's a, it's a thing. You just brush the beard. And they missed a land drop, too. Okay. What you got next? Surely no other creatures. That's your top deck. Soul Scar Mage. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, before they have a chance to do anything dangerous, let's, uh, do it again. Watery Grave come in tapped, because aggro deck, and also we don't have anything on which to spend it. And then next turn, we'll just bully them with uh, Memory Lapse Prismari Command. Bone Crush, there you are. Okay, uh, that's a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, then. Let's see. Even if I had the mana, double Prismari Command really hurts against that dude. 
Ah, oh, that's not fantastic. Well, we've played our land drop, so let's just pass. Maybe we can stall for a turn. Ow. Alright, do your thing. Nope, okay then, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Uh... Treasure. Right, I will draw two, discard two, and I make a treasure. Nice. Alright, what you got? Anything in response? You gonna stomp me? No, okay, cool. Ooh. Ooh. We're getting to the point of the game where memory lapse doesn't do anything. We'll definitely drop you. And I uh, hate to do it. Yeah, hate to see it. What's Onyx up to? Sacrifices a creature with the greatest power. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Alright. And then pass. I probably should have saved that. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, red? We don't actually have a ton of blue mana. Alright, Onyx, do your thing. Alright, and please don't die. Whatever you do, please don't die. Alright. I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. We don't take the damage from Bone Crusher Giant here. And a lightning strike to me. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. Instead of to Onyx, it's to me. Uh-oh. Not again. Alright, we are, uh, dead. If they find a land- well, not quite. Yep, we're dead. GG. GG, they got me. Uh, so if we could make it one more turn, then we could actually start gaining life off of Professor Onyx. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We tried. We tried. I kind of would like to try that again, but we'll, we'll keep it going. If I have the energy for it afterwards. Boros Aggro. Can I? No, we have, we have to click and do it from here. Okay. Uh, this is Infect. I'm playing Infect. So it's Clever Luma Mancer, Soul Scar Mage, Leonin Light Scribe, Heartfire Emulator. So, great. Still pretty good. Uh, we're stretching it. Oh man, why are you playing this card? And the answer is because we're not in blue, so we don't get a lot of card draw. We get crash through, and yeah, <laughs> that's it. Uh, importantly though, Magecraft and Grapeshot work really well with one another. When you cast or copy, hey, look at all the copies we might end up getting, hopefully. Otherwise, it's just they gain trample, shock, bigger shock, <laughs> uh, bigger shock with life gain, and uh, deck and stone for exiling potential blockers. Woo! And then here's the land base. We have 20 lands, two plains, two mountains, four Fury Calm Snarl, four Inspiring Vantage, four Needle Verge Pathway, four Sacred Foundry. This is awkward with only eight lands to proc it, but it's often early in the game when we have the extra one anyway. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, yeah, and that's, uh, that's, that's it. That's, that's about it. Woo! So yeah, Infect time. You can play Infect in Mono Red, in Mono White, you can play it in Boros, you can play it in Jeskai, you can play it in, uh, Is It? Heck, I'm sure that there's a way to play it in Azorius if you hate yourself, but yeah. <laughs> Clever Lumomancer, uh, Stormwing, Entity, Daramander? I don't know. Someone smarter than I will figure out a way to make that work. Alright, uh, actually, actually, it's less damage, but we're going to actually play the Lumamancer next turn, so that we can hopefully uh, protect it a bit. I have to be careful here. Actually, we would need, uh, we would need two shots to protect it from three damage. 
We'll fire you off first. You're the less important one. If you die, it's not the end of the world. There, it's not. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Brainstorm with no fetch. It just end of turn brainstorm. I don't like this. You can tell when a player is newer to the game. When they do stuff like that. I mean, sometimes you need to, like what you saw at the, the end there when I was using it just to be efficient with my mana in a previous game, that was not one of those instances. They just put a card back that they drew from Brainstorm. That's Or they drew a card that they put back from Brainstorm. That's almost never ideal. The levels are like playing Brainstorm like you would any other cantrip, then waiting on having like fetches, for instance. Oh, we actually lived through it. Uh, and then the level beyond that is like the feline longmore tier where you know when to make it work afterwards. Yeah, it probably should have been a sacred foundry for the extra, extra shock. We can make this work. We have enough to save it at least. And in turn. Yes, if 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 we can make it to next turn, we have super duper lethal going on. Uh, because of so shock shock shock. Well no, shock shock grape shot. We don't have enough for shock 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 grape shot. Because the copies will proc as well. Oh boy, what's about to happen here? I wonder. Couldn't possibly be phoenixes. There's a two... Two phoenixes. Yay. Alright, what you got? Because we're going to end up losing... Or we can't cast all of them next turn anyway, we might as well shock uh, one of the phoenixes to protect our life total a little bit, I guess. Maybe? What is that? Alright, no, yeah, they get it. They get two chickens, two orc like chickens, plus any they get here. Or they're gonna do opt instead. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Arc light chicken. Alright, well they're tapped out, so is there any reason for me not oh I was about to say is there any reason for me not to? And honestly I don't guess it matters too much. Uh, sure? Pop! Things that do not matter in the least. We could actually use this to stop the other one. That seems like a bad idea, though. In fact, if we do that, we won't have lethal, right? Shock, shock, grape shock, copy, copy. No, we won't. Okay, never mind. Just doing some quick counting. Alright, we have double grape shot because God is smiling at me, I guess. Alright. Shock their face. Yay. That's what you get for tapping out against infect. <laughs> Boros infect. I swear to God someone's gonna come up with that. It's me. As if that weren't bad enough. Pop. 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 There we go. Yeet. Yeet. Give him the good game. Alright. Woo. Yeah, without the five damage from the emulator, we would have actually been one shy. So yeah, that, it was needed. Plus, I did say, "Oh God, look how <laughs> look how not far we are with our attack quest." Oh boy, I did say we were going to have to try to attack for the quest. Alright, next up, Mono Blue Tempo. It's exactly what it sounds like. There's a number of different ways to configure it. There's 16 creatures in my list. No Brazen Bar, which may be wrong. Four Ascendant Spirit, because it's good. All Snowlands. Uh, for Terramander, which is a little odd, but I've seen it done before. Uh, for Siren Storm Tamer, for Spectral Sailor, 
they all fly. Well, Ascendant Spirit needs a little bit of work to make it fly, but eventually it will fly. And uh, yeah, four Curious Obsession for the buff and card draw. Curiosity, just card draw. And this could be more. This could be fewer. We could have bigger mana spells like uh, Tempest Gen. We could play a flash deck with the pirate shenanigans with Brimeborn Cutthroat. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. We, we, I'm going with for flying. And also, instants and sorceries. Speaking of, Brainstorm. I don't care that we're a mono-colored deck. We're playing Fable Passage just for Brainstorm. <laughs> just to make it work a bit better. And then Memory Lapse because stupid good card and this is a tempo deck so we can like legitimately make good use of this. I was wrong. We do have two Brazen Borrower. My bad. I lied. Four Spell Pierce, four Lofty Denial. No Winged Words. Probably could put that in. Winged Words is... Winged Woe. Uh, two mana, draw two cards. Usually. Uh, uh, there you go. But, uh, no, we're, we're not running that. Not, not this time around. But yeah, that, that's basically what's going on here. So let's switch that in. I set you. There we are. Almost done. Those mass. And then I might make some stupid deck to just complete the attack quest. We don't have Midnight in the format still, right? We just have Ornithopter. I should look through all of the zero mana creatures. Actual zero mana creatures I can put in just to create an attack quest. Alright, so cool. Terra Mint, we have Creature, Curious Possession, Spellfish, Spellfish, Memory Lapse. This is super good. Unless this dies on the first turn, which, you know, knowing me, knowing me, Say hello. Alright. Uh, land first. Just in case. We protect it. But, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter. But, yeah. There's that. Hold up Spell Pierce. Hit him. And hopefully we just keep doing this for the rest of the game. Yes. Yes, we will draw a card. Oh my god. Spell Pierce, Spell Pierce, Memory Lapse, Memory Lapse. Uh... Hopefully they don't get a turn. That's the that's the hope anyway. Uh, yeah, no. No, 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 no. Why does it even bother? There's only one on the stack. Okay, uh, I guess we'll attack first. Hello, thank you. Alright, see what we get. Yeah, this, this escalates very quickly. Ascendant Spirit, and then pass turn. To the spirit in the sky. Ah, uh, no you don't. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll actually put that back on top. Just don't let them play. Oh, I, I just realized. I, I should have done the spell pierce while they're low on me. I should have. Oops. Uh, we could play it a little bit riskily. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll actually buff first. Uh, for one more point of damage. It's not worth it, but I'm going to hold up the Spell Pierce this turn anyway. Do we get a land? We do. Alright, I, I, we might not then. Uh, yep, there we go. Alright, uh, Helix will kill now. Wrath of God. Oh, boy. I eat it up. I eat it up. Yeah. Hey, there we go. That's Mono Blue Tempo for you. Uh, probably should have used the Spell Pierce earlier, so that I could, uh, make sure that the Spell Pierce didn't get dead to them just having enough lands. Especially since in future turns, hopefully they're playing bigger mana spells anyway, like Wrath of God. Uh, yeah. What, like, uh, Autumn Burchett and Reed Duke, I think, were my introduction to this deck. Watching them do play a mirror against one another at the first Mythic Invitational, I think it was, or First Worlds, or whichever it was. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, that was a, that was a cool, cool match to watch, though. It's fun. It's a fun deck. Actually, no. My introduction to that was Cat Light's nickname for the deck, which is not YouTube appropriate, but it, let's just say another word for tempo instead of 
Monoblow Tempo is something else. Alright, so this is I Hate Brainstorm the deck. I mean, I'm playing Brainstorm, but I'm hating opponents' brainstorms. Uh, Narset, Inquisition, and Thought Seize, and Thought Erasure are not usually great against Brainstorm per se, but Brainstorm in Historic especially is used to enable silly combo decks. Now, Brainstorm will let them hide cards from Hand Attack, which is part of why it's as good, <laughs> one of the many reasons why it's as good as it is. But, you know, we can hopefully still take apart their, their hand. If they're playing Control, it might not do us all that much good, uh, relatively speaking, but if it's any sort of combo deck, like what we came across with the with Phoenixes, with Emergent Combo, uh, with Reanimator, <laughs> silly stuff like that, or whatever you call Reanimator with Mizzix Mastery, yeah. Uh, anyway, so lots of hand attack, obviously. Memory Lapse to put them back a turn as well. Brazen Borrower for being able to bounce stuff, and it's a creature, so it's a 3-1. Narset, because screw Brainstorm. Teferi's Tutelage, Mill is the main win con for the deck. Ashiok, Dream Render, not actually a win con. I mean, Mill, it, it helps Mill, but it won't Mill enough on its own, so only a 3 of. But it also hits Fable Passage, it hits any searching, so this is also a screw Brainstorm card. This used to be a 4 of, but I needed to make some more room for more Memory Lapse, so... You know, Extinction Event so that I can have one Wrath. It's something that I can find with Narset. Liliana is another win con. Uh, if we're playing a deck that empties its hand pretty quickly and we're trying to empty the opponent's hand pretty quickly, then the plus can be enough to win the game. Even if it's not, minus three for getting rid of stuff. One Castle Vantress, one Castle Locked Mine, two Island for Swamp, four Watery Grave, four Temple of Deceit. Other win con is Crawling Barons, a two of. Could be more, but it makes colorless mana, and this deck is, especially early on, pretty color intensive, so only two. Four Fable Passage, three Feel of Ruin, so we have seven ways to shuffle the deck. Uh, four Fable, three Field, I think this is okay. The deck de is light on win conditions, so if we don't find them, then we're in a bit of trouble, unfortunately, so that is a weakness to the deck. We have Brainstorm and Narset, though, so hopefully we'll get there. That's the plan, anyway. Hopefully. I used to have Ashiok, uh, the five mana one, as well, but I uh, ended up taking it out to make room. Maybe not ideal. Uh, maybe that should have gone in for Extinction Event. Oh boy! Uh, I'm going to hate myself if I do this. I shouldn't. Yeah, we'll mull. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's... I can live with that. Uh, we'll put back field? Field is probably the right answer. He says, I'm going to get beaten up for that. Oh boy, so we, we miss out on our hand attack though. 12 hand attack spells and we have zero now, but we have a curve. Petty theft, Narset, extinction event. Hopefully we get there. Uh, since we don't have anything going on though, put it in tapped. There we go. Ooh. Alright. Hand pass. And we even have a memory lapse. Yay! Oh, okay. Uh... I say we fire the Inkwo first. They'll have a brainstorm here. If they brainstorm, we will put it back on top of their deck and really mess them up. Nope, never mind then. Uh, hmm. Helix. Take the Helix. I don't mind if they bounce my Narset. That's fine. That was a little weird though. Uh, what are they? Okay, there it goes. I was <laughs> wondering what we were waiting on. That'll do it, though. Oh, hey, that'll do it. Uh, can't wait too long in the Snar set. Well, I know it's in their hand. And memory lapse won't stop the cycling. So... Let's just do it now. Oh boy. 
Oh boy, give it to me. Give it to me. Wait, Brazen Borrower this, I think. No, in all seriousness, they can flash in Brazen Borrower. That is actually a thing to worry about. Ah. Uh... Um, once I put Memory Lapse in hand, they can play around at the rest of the game. Unless I'm already ahead. Memory Lapse. Ooh, okay. Hmm, yes, we keep. That'll be, that'll be alright. Our fifth land... Plus it's the Skyland. Okay, that's not what I was thinking they'd do, but uh, that works. That works, I guess. No bar were to kill it. Now I would have to give up our set. Nyar set, I guess. If I would like to go any further, I would have to give her up. Looking at what they have, I think that this is okay for me to do it. It's unfortunate, but I think that it's alright. Ooh. Ooh. So we can go Narset again. That's not bad. Or we can go for Teferi's Tutelage and actually start trying to win the game. Let's do that. Oh, by the way, Teferi's Tutelage Brainstorm is a thing. I would play Jace's Erasure and Popper and play... There was a time when my... Oh, boy, no you don't. No you don't. There we go. There we go. I mean, they knew I had it. When my card draw was... Brainstorm, Treasure, Cruise, Gush. Yeah, it was a broken time. In Popper. I swear to God. Okay. Uh huh. Well, Brazen Borrower is, is odd, and the shark is even. All sharks are even. So, uh, now Teferi resolves. F. Uh, I guess we get rid of the extinction event. Oh, that could be that could be risky though. Uh, Narset would effectively negate Teferi though. Yeah, I don't want to do it, but I think it's right. Could have also dropped Tutelage and just hoped to find another one. There's only one Extinction event in the deck, so I probably did mess up. Uh, if they don't have a land, then we, we, we live a little bit longer. Even if just a little bit. Let's try this again, shall we? Do it again. I dare you. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Let's try this again. Put it back on top of their deck so that they still don't draw a land. Although they could cycle the shark. So they, they could actually get somewhere with it. Alright. Yay! Alright, geez. Drop the Narset. Numero dos. Alright, and there it goes. Bye bye, memory lapse. Cycle. Yep, there it is. Alright, we made them use up two Shark Typhoons. I can live with that. Uh, it's, it's fine. I feel less bad about dropping the extinction event now. I guess. I guess. Alright, uh. Narset first. See if she makes it. Ooh. Ooh. Brainstorm to try to save her? How many Nar Well, I don't have that many more memory lapses. Um, yeah, let's try. All right, what you got? What you got? 
this will also proc to fairy's tutelage. So, more mill, as you do. Now we've already used two memory lapses, only two left in the deck. And we're not exactly chock full of counter spells. These are our only counter spells. <sighs> hey, we that was very premature. Holy crap, that was not warranted at all. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> okay, we we take those, I guess. Man, uh I guess they saw the mill writing on the wall. So yeah, that's a uh, Demir control. We should still have only nine creatures. Yeah, no, 13. There we go. Lucky number 13. We can't end on, on that number. Of all numbers, we can't. Okay. Let's brew something else up. I don't care. Uh, any, meeny, miny, mo. What's a deck that I can play? Oh, I know what I can play. I know. I know. I know. Let's, uh, how do I back out from here? Let's click done. Scroll down. Death and taxes unfinished. Well, convenient. Oh, rada, 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 rada. Conveniently, we can now finish it. Look at all the silliness here. Uh. Hmm. Nope. Yep. What on earth? They can't cast, but this works on faithful suiting, so I guess it's fine. Charming prince. Nope. Containment Priest. Yep. In fact, we will find room for another. I don't know how, but we'll make room. Look at how many cards I have. You don't make the cut anymore. Sorry. What on earth? Uh, there's a lot going on here. None of it good. Fourth. How many lands do I have? I could have just counted. All right. We don't need that many. Jeez. Uh, sure. Let's try 22, I guess. Gives me two more slots. Uh, and we'll find more room. Get out of here. I would like to find more room for you. This is okay, just as a one of It doesn't really play with what the rest of the deck is doing, but, uh, I mean, it's just nice to have. We're in mono white. Giant Killer is cute, but I guess a little bit superfluous. Let's see. We already have Usher of the Fallen. Why did I have you in here? I needed to fill out the ranks of my one drops, that's why. Okay. We're getting closer, a little bit. One, two, three. One, two, three. It cuts off Haste. I mean, it cuts off... I cuts not Haste. It cuts off uh, Arclight Phoenix. There we go. I, I knew what I meant to say. Uh, we did have the one that... Uh, Kunjali Sunwing? The one that makes them come in tap. That cuts off Haste. Which wouldn't be a bad idea either. Okay, uh, probably should find a, more room for you, because that's an actual way to break board states. Why am I so itchy now? You've been watching me the whole time, and it's decaf too, so it's not a caffeine thing. I don't know what it gives. Selfless Savior, Thraven Inspector, One Giant Killer, Containment Priest, Dranith Magistrate, which may be a bit much, probably, a little bit. I don't know, sure, it, it's all access, it's broken. Thalia, Archon, Aven Mind Sensor, one Heliod for value, Skyclave for removal, no deck in stone because Thalia, if it were Swords of Plowshares, we'd be good. I could find some way to add some cycling lands. Sure. One of you because value, I guess, and we don't have a whole lot of one drops. And, uh, yeah, let's say. Sure, wait a minute. There we go. There we go. That's where it's at. Thalia's Bay. Okay, if we just kept running this over and over, we'd eventually get the uh, the attack quest done. I don't, I don't know, we have less than an hour anyway. And, it's late here, and a high night of death. I will be playing Vintage after I get up and work on, work on some errands. Alright, this looks excellent. Let's keep it. Say hello. Oh my god. Don't, don't mull. It means you have a combo deck, right? If Historic has taught me anything, it means Tybalt's Trick. How have we not seen Tybalt's Trickery yet? Right? Maybe? 
Crazy. Right, so next we'll play Thalia with Indestructible, effectively. Is this an elf? No, it's a goose. Okay. Uh, sure. Ta da! Alright, so somewhat countered by the ramp, perhaps. Maybe. Totally. Uh, if we hit a land, we'll go Thraben Inspector, hold up Priest. Woot. Off to my turn. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yee. Alright. So, another joy of Thraven Inspector is oh, they don't know if I'm going to be cracking the clue or not. It, it hides the fact that I have a two drop with Flash. Basically. And in turn. So, if they, even if they had land, uh, they wouldn't be able to play the Collected Company yet. Uh, sure, that's fine. That's fine. Because of Thalia. If they play Collected Company and I flash in a Containment Priest, though, silly, silly things will occur. Which is to say I will win the game, hopefully. Uh, where are you? This is not a Coco deck. What the heck? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright. So Heliod will have Devotion. Yay! fan tucking fastic It's a very technical magic term, folks. Just, just take my word on that. Alright. So, uh, you, do your thing. How do we gain life without attacking? We can't. So let's not even try. But at least you're an indestructible creature. Can I go? Pass? Thank you. Oh boy. How many rules can we set up for the opponent? No flashing stuff in. Uh, and they cost more. Yay. And my nose is itchy again. Alright, they don't have a land, so no four drop shenanigans, hopefully. Well, creatures, it can be shenanigans. This is modern magic. You need to take your time instead of your go. Your go just sounds rude. Take your time, a little less so. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, they had to, yeah, they tapped it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, sure. Two in the hand, a very fixed dig through time. Four mana sorcery speed instead of two mana instant speed. Yay. Uh-oh. All right, so they hit another land. That's not good. All right. How about whenever you gain life, plus one, plus one counter on creature you control. Let's do it twice. Give you lifelink and give you lifelink. And hi ya. Woo! And then put it on you. First counter goes to you, because more damage. I go. Put him to two. Uh, and I guess we'll stick it on the first strike creature. Why not? Uh, the answer is I probably could have put it on Containment Priest. Alright, let's see if they can combo off and kill me. Yeah, if I put it on Containment Priest, then if I had attacked with Thalia, She'd be indestructible anyway. First strike, then put the counter on containment. Ah, oh yeah, they died. Okay, cool. At least we made some progress on the quest. I think that's my first time playing against Knight of Death. Cool name, by the way. I appreciate that. Pre appreciate that. <laughs> I was deciding really quickly between being serious and saying appreciate, and being silly and appreciate. Okay, so uh, can I brew something else up? in a moment. Ah, uh, probably, probably. Um, 
Oh. Monophyrexia? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have an idea. Hey, let's play this deck. Let's play this deck. <laughs> so I'm going to be playing Doubling Season and Jace shenanigans. Hopefully, it'll work out. All right, so uh, brainstorm as you do. Growth spiral. Oh yeah. Oops. All right. Um. Cultivate, I guess. Sure. Why not? Let's go uh, exploring. We have, with the growth spiral as well, we effectively have two explorers. I had to make the joke. I could not resist. It was impossible. Uh, opt. And we need something to actually not die to. That's important. I don't know. This one's cool. Yeah, we'll go for the pirate one. Totally matters. If I get to go off and if my opponent actually lets me, then we, act we get infinite. We, we can complete our attack quest here. Also, if my computer lets me. That's important, too. Erm. Uh, brazen Borrower. One, two, three, four. And then... What else? I'm tempted to say Beanstalk Giant. Uh, memory Lapse. Because, yes, this card is dumb. Alright, there you go. Doubling Jaxes. Jax, there we go. Uh, Phyrexian Jace. Says. Alright, perfect name. Chef's kiss. Okay, step one, don't die. Oh, wait a minute, land base, land base. That's also kind of important. Let's uh, not forget about that, please. Alright, so let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, so in love with you. Okay. Uh, say one, two, three, four. And how many do we have left? Oh, Fable Passage. I have to actually break this really quickly. One, two, three, four. Twenty-four lands is good. I would like to be able to, even though I have a, a high count of cantrips, I would like to make sure that I hit a land drop every turn. Uh, plus, we can thin with cards like Cultivate. Uh, here goes nothing. Just, just straight up infinite Jaces. This will not work. There is no way, there is no way that this works. But, I get to play infinite Jaces if it works out, so... Sue me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Hi, Serrated. Oh, let me see how much time I have left on the card. Enough. Well, uh, we start with neither of our pieces. We will hope that this doesn't absolutely suck. Technical turn. Technical turn. Oh god. Well, there's one. Well, uh, hi, speaker. Oh, boy. This is going to suck. All right, there's another land. Uh, sure. Sure, why not? Woo! Ow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're going to go off way before we do. Oh, that's going to suck. Um, how about we play the Bark Channel Pathway first on green. We explore. Play Botanical Sanctum. Pass. Okay, um, we're, we're not going to make it in time. Unless something seriously drastic happens here. Oh, 
hi, Angel. Alright. Go to 21. And then... Oh, 22. Excuse me. That's... Oh, no. They're about to go to 26 here. Yeesh. Yeesh. Uh, I need to drop it. We need to actually find something. Name Jace. Oh, and I got another one. Uh, Lordborg, Lordborg. All right. Only the angel gets it. That's fine by me. All right. Hurry, hurry, deck, please. Hey, there's Jace. Okay. Uh, we're past the point where memory lapse helps. Probably. Uh. Oh, actually, how are we going to stick the Jace? Because Jace is going to die on the turn we play him. Like, after the turn after we play him. We won't have an... Oh, boy. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble. We would have to stick the, uh... Vorinclex first. And somehow have lived. So I'm going to do something stupid and drop two lands. Hoping that we can come across some more. Really soon. And then pass. Okay, here goes nothing. Ah. Uh, um. I could bounce the Soul Warden. They wouldn't gain life yet. Well, they're, they're going to attack first anyway. It's, it's fine. It doesn't actually make a difference. So we'll return the angel. Uh, island. Just try to stem the bleeding as long as I possibly can. Just hope we get somewhere. Right, they'll still gain life. Now their creatures are bigger. I should have bounced Righteous Valkyrie instead. Oh, we're very dead here. Alright, I don't care. I'm going to try this deck again. I'm... we... yeah. That's a weakness to it. We're slow. We are very slow. Go on the play. Make sure that you can get out your growth spirals and explorers and memory lapses and stuff like that. Otherwise, you're too slow. Come on, step it up. I don't care. I'm trying again. I'm breaking my one-time rule. We're, we're doing this again. I would like to make infinity jaces. Por favor. I just realized that the word that I said in German was not very appropriate, was it? My bad. My bad. Once again, neither piece, but brainstorm, brainstorm, grow spiral, grow spiral, cultivate. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> it's probably not ideal for me to fire the brainstorm off on turn one just to be mana efficient, even though... <sighs> yeah. We should wait. We should wait. You know that would be the mana efficient thing. We have Cultivate, so if we can get to four mana, we can go Brainstorm Cultivate for Shuffle. And, yeah, all the more reason. Alright, so we'll, we'll pass. No turn one thought sees. Or anyone. Oh, it's rogues. Well, we, we lose. GG. Okay, uh, yeah, no, no, we can't win this. It's just not, it's not going to happen. There's a negative chance. Drown in the lock will hit our actual pieces. Ow. Pass. If they play a spell, memory lapse. If they don't, growth spark. That's, that's just it. That's how it works. Alright, what you got? Ow. Growth Spiral. Yay, let's go. Do it. And Soaring Thief. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, so that's four plus the ones I've cast. 
Uh, yes. Yes, please go on the battlefield. Uh, yeah, we're in trouble. Alright, there's one. But once again, since they have creatures, I have to cast Vorinflex first. Well, we can cast the Cult of... We, uh... Alright, if I hit a land here, I go Brainstorm Cultivate and actually get a shuffle in. I did not. Of course I didn't. Oh boy, that is my luck. Well, hmm. Optus the... Well, we can't drop the Opt, though. We need more lands. Even so. We have another Cultivate in hand. We're getting to the point where Memory Lapse doesn't do as much. But we'll keep it around for this turn. Okay. Borrower, you're too slow. Technically speaking, you're too slow. No, 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 no. Keep the Borrower. It can be used to kill the Sky Thief. Oh, this, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. I can't drop both Cultivates. Memory Lapse is actually not bad here, but we're too, we're too far behind. Doesn't matter, we're gonna get it right back in just a moment. I should have left it in hand for that very reason. I can't get a Shuffle, so I should have put the other Cultivate on top. That way I'd have a Counterspell in hand. Jay, think. Think, Jay. All right, can you please, thank you. Pop. Drown. I'm going to make you do it. Lofty Denial. Okay. Interesting. Not all of the rogues have flying, so it's it's not always seen. Now they get huge. Oh, boy. Uh... Jace can try to draw their fire, but no, we're too far behind. Cultivate puts one on the field, one in on the in hand, and then on the field. Uh, is there any earthly chance? Is there a non-earthly chance? All right. So the other cultivate is now, technically speaking, useless. This one goes on the battlefield. Play you. And then pass. So next turn, Jace make an illusion, don't die. Hopefully. Yeah. I'm just gonna try to bait out a counter spell here. Just I don't care. I'm trying. I'm doing what I can. Need a land. That's not a land. It's land adjacent. Uh... Woo! All right, that's game. I'll give it one more try. One more try. One more, Jackie. Uncle. Can I please play, play against, like, I would take phoenixes over rogues. That sounds ridiculous, but I would. I, I actually would at this point. Oh. I should have put Narset in this deck. Black Dams. Okay. Fine, I don't know. Find some room for Narset. Oh, hi. Two lands and a piece. Yeah, we keep. Oh, we keep. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, start off with the temple because we actually want to find lands. So we don't want to deck them yet. Also, we have brainstorm in hands. That helps too. Brainstorm and fetch. Match made in heaven and all that jazz. We can explore or we can hold up memory lapse. Uh, with the f that being their first, I say we explore. Uh, hello? That was weird. Ooh. 
Hi. Can I, uh... Whoa, I did not have my finger on that. Okay. That was weird. That was wild. We actually are going to fetch here and get an island. How many ba- I don't have but four basics in this deck, right? Not a lot for a four cultivate deck. Not a lot at all. Uh-oh. We might just get out of that grove for the umpty seventh time. Uh... We'll make it. Yep, four. Okay. Note to sell. More next time. Uh... Brainstorm. Oh boy. Oh boy. We don't need two cultivates. And... There's a growth spiral. That gives me an extra. I'm okay with that. Explore is weird. That's a, that's a term. Uh, memory lapse is going to be too slow, I can tell. Alright, let's put those back. Doesn't matter. Who cares? Fire away. Again. Again. Uh, get the force this time. Also, it doesn't matter because let's make all the shenanigans. Actually, we might make it in time this time. Time. Alright. Uh, yeah, because next turn we get Vorinclex. We just need to actually find Jason, then we're good. Oh no. That's not great. Now, Vorinclex is not an is not a issue. Okay, uh, still need to play him though, don't I? Yeah, I can't not. They'll have to exert. Yeah, we're waiting. Force them to exert and not be able to attack with it next turn. So I'll take six and then nine just from what I see on board. Go to virtual five. Not enough lands for the ruins yet. Next turn we'll hold up Growth Spiral Memory Lapse. Try to find Jace. If we find Jace, we win the game. Big if, but if. If we can find Jace, then we win the game. That's all we have to do. Just top deck a Jace. That's all. What could possibly go wrong? Well, they, they did that for a reason. Is there a Coco? Show me Coco. And then watch me cry. Manly tears. The manliest of tears. Yo! Okay. Haste. Alright, that makes sense. So never mind, we're at virtual dead. <laughs> we need to find chases now. I say virtual dead because this is an extra three here and then three next turn. So, whereas I would have been at five, Wait a minute, what is going on? You better attack with the Crasher. Target creed. Oh, they didn't attack with the Elves. Uh... Okay, so never mind. So we take 8 and then 5. Go to 13, or take 13 over the course of 2 turns. Well, actually, no, it might not matter. They might have stomped, so it, it might not matter anyway. If they have stomped, then they're playing it safely. Alright, Jace, 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 I believe. Oh, I believe. I don't, actually. The odds are not fantastic. Hey! Alright, uh... Growth Spiral? I, I said submit. Um, what's the way that this is worded? It and girl spellbreaker. Okay. Let's bounce it. I guess force them to use the mana up, and then we can memory lapse it. It's the most mana intensive spell, so it makes sense.
There you go. I knew you had it in you. Uh, you? Please. Alright. That sequence didn't actually buy us a turn, because... Yeah, let's not attack. So they have five mana. Llanowar plus one is Stomp. And then... Actually, they could just... Yeah. And then they can play the Spellbreaker. Well, no, because uh, I can block the spell. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's a trap. If I block the Llanowar Elves, I don't die to a second. I don't lose it to a second stomp. I don't know what's right here. Ah, uh, because this... Playing the second Vorinclex doesn't actually matter next turn. It's not going to be able to block regardless. So I can go to four here. No, 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 no. Because if they have a second stomp, I just die to two stomps. A Tarkus command. Ooh. All right. And then I die. Good game. I wish that there were a way in, on Arena for you to see what you would have drawn in coming turns. We were so close. We were so close. We were as few as one draw step away. We were close. Oh well. It happens. I will say, as I jump into the next one, I will say, it does seem a little strange to me to be in an event that lets you play anything you like and you play Gruel Aggro. Gruel Coco. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're not we're gonna play the turn one brainstorm. Although it would be a good cantrip, to be sure. To be sure. Hi, Relic. That's fine? Yeah, that's fine. We don't care. Alright. It Now, I still would like to not play Brainstorm if I can help it. That's fine. Boop. Okay, never mind. That's going to be annoying. Just having to do the button presses, instead of it happening automatically. I have one card in my graveyard. Gee, I wonder which one I'm going to pick. I couldn't possibly guess. Alright, off to my turn. Wait. Okay. Ooh. Get an extra land drop, so... What do we get? What do we have? Uh, there's land number six. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. And try to dig for an actual card we can use. That's the plan, anyway. A.K.A. Jace or Big V. Boop. Boop. All right. Big V sounds like a euphemism. Hi, no. No, thank you. No, thank you, ma'am. Slam jam, thank you, ma'am. Uh, opt first. Oh, no, I should play Brainstorm first. So that I could opt one of the cards away. Resolve, that's fine. There that goes. Uh, can I please? Pretty please? Pretty please. Well, better late than never. Brainstorm. Oh, hi, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Alright. We'll keep the growth spiral. Top, bottom, good. Good, good, good. Oh, crap. No other way around, Jay, you genius. 
other way around so that I could use op to scry it to the bottom. <sighs> that is just not my day. Well, okay then. They're gonna fire off Chandra again. This time there's not much I can do about her. I can try to use Brainstorm to find to sift through that last card, that very last card. Jay, you moron. Jay, you moron. Oh well. Well, unfortunately, what's done is done. No spell pierce or anything, so let it be. We are on a serious clock, as it turns out. Oh, boy. Alright, pass it back to my turn. I know what my next... No, I don't. I don't know what my next card is anymore. It's a land! Uh, brainstorm first, and we can put one of the cards away with Scry on the temple. Oh, hi! Oh, we have all the pieces! Okay. Uh, Vorinclex Explore. What's the way this is worded? To each opponent. Okay. I'll keep the extra Vorin clicks just in case. Think that it might matter, maybe. Alright. Put you on the hippie top. And then, play you. Alright, and then drop you down. Okay. Uh, Jace can't go now, because I need to use Vorinclex first. Vorinclex first, so that Jace will double his counters. Alright, Relic time. Hit Opt. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. Those misplays add up, though. Oh, no, it's the Tribal Chandra. I swear, if I lose... Oh, no. <gasps> Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're we're in trouble, but no we're not. We're we're very dead, aren't we? I haven't seen them do anything at instant speed. So we might maybe can make it out of this alive. They would need to have two spells here in order to kill Vorinclex after they pop the emblem. And if they if they can do that. Oh wait, never mind, we need to do this. I forgot you had haste, bud. See, genuinely, I forgot you had haste. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. Somehow I managed to forget that. Now, if they have something that deals three damage, they can copy it. Chandra. Alright. If they have... Actually, they can't use the Flame Slash on Torch anymore. So, they would need Acolyte's ult to get by. Anger. Oh, and then do it again. Do it again. Or... What? And then just Magma Spray. Okay. Uh, interesting. Or they could do that. That works. I guess. Sure. That was weird. I don't like that sequence, it really works. Alright, if you kill another Vorinclex, I swear to God. Making absolutely sure that I have enough mana after this. The, other, the last foreign clicks is at the bottom of my deck. Alright, Relic? No? Okay, cool. Alright. I don't trust you. One card. I don't trust you. Although this will let Acolyte get outside of foreign class range. It doesn't matter because hopefully we're going infinite next turn. Hopefully we get to do it. 
we get to do the thing, folks. Okay, well, I'm glad I did that, because otherwise she would have died. Because, uh, Flame Slash, Chandra Flame Slash. I just called Vorinclex a she. Who cares? Oh, I swear. Okay, okay. No, 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 that's from her plus. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. How much mana did they have left over? Okay. Oh, they didn't have enough mana to, uh, flashback. Wait, yes, they did. Yes, they did. What the heck happened here? So, Chandra plus revealed Lava Coil. They couldn't cast the Lava Coil. Oh, n wait, 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 wait. No, that's wrong. They could totally cast Lava. What happened there? So, did Acolyte flash it back? I can't actually look underneath here. Oh, no, 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 okay. So, Chandra plus... Okay, we'll pretend we win infinite that game. Uh, Chandra plus revealed Lava Coil. I'm missing something. How did the Lava Coil get on the stack? Right? Because they need to actually cast the spell. They spent four mana to cast Chandra. This is going to be really obvious when I watch it back, and I'm just, I'm just clueless as to what's going on here. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, huh? Sh sure. Also, why can you not get rid of this stuff to look underneath? Why is that not a thing? Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, somehow they messed up and conceded right there. Uh, I, without being able to see what exactly happened, I'm not sure if they would have been able to beat me if they had played it differently. Because I, I genuinely don't know how that happened. Four mana for Chandra Torch, plus revealed Lava Coil. Lava Coil shouldn't be able to go on the stack unless they can cast it. Could have been Acolytes minus, but that wouldn't have been enough. Mm. Also, they didn't have a Lava Coil in the graveyard already. They had Anger and Magma Spray. Pretend Phyrexian Jaces went infinite. And then we're just... we're, we're good. Ta-da! I made infinite Jaces. It totally happened. Monkeys on typewriters. Or maybe I did. Maybe the opponent somehow would have had me. And I just... Didn't know. Unfortunately, we didn't attack with any creatures except Vorinclex that time, so we didn't get that much further ahead anyway. Oh, whale. Well. Alright, I guess I'll catch you all later. See you in the next one. Adios. Bye bye.